six yards a carry on the day. You're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't fumble the football. I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. It's Forte in the backfield. He'll get it again. Forte's met after a gain of three. Forte's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. The Vikings lined up in the nickel. Second down and seven. Carey's going to take the handoff now. The Bears, they run the football on second down because they want to get third in manageable. If you do that, there's many plays to choose from on the offensive side. But now you've got third long, and that list has shrunk down to just a couple plays you can call in this situation. Loss of three on the play. The Bears put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. a touchback the Vikings could have asked for this third quarter to have gone any better for them than it has so far as they've just continued to do what they were doing in the first half up and down the field oh man they kept the pedal to the metal man they are letting it go they're being aggressive and they're trying to end this game right here good job by the offense here with a good lead in the second half picking up that first down and that's what you want to do take your time Look at the play clock. Take it down as low as you can and keep picking up those first downs. The Vikings will take the snap from the 30. And at the 37, he'll be brought down. He's now over 50 yards rushing on the day. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Hey. Trying to beat the play clock. He's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. First and ten. For Daryl Patterson with the catch. And a flag comes out. Foul, face mask, defense. Boy, his head got yanked back the down. other way. An obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. They need to get the playoff. Adrian Peterson takes the football. Still not taken down. And they are in on Peterson after a pickup of about two. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. Let's go. What is? What is? The Vikings have it at the 29. He has the grab. And he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. Bill, we're midway through the third quarter, and there is no letting up. Man, this is a lot of a good thing. That's what they're doing on both sides of the ball. The offense scoring points, the defense dominating play. They are just having a good old time out there. The Vikings with the PAT to come. Makes the PAT. 
The Vikings now ready to kick the football down the field. Royals got it on the return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Bears bringing their offense onto the field. It wasn't a very productive possession for them last time out, partner. They ended up punting. Well, you know what it was? It was a good feeling out process. So they got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defenses they tried on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some plays. The Bears from the 27. As Royal. Royals tackled down at the 32. Waynes is the one who is down and will step aside for just a moment. Now looking at third down. Matt Forte gets it here. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense, picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. Now first and 10. Forte's met at the 44. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. They'll run it off the toss. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. The Bears have had a great rushing attack all game, Phil. Forte's been a consistent force on the ground. Yeah, he's just a running back who never gives up. And when he runs, it's arms, elbows, everything is moving. And he is one tough running back to tackle. First down at the 47. Up the gut here. Carries met after a gain of three. If you want to run the football to success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. Second down and seven. They want to keep feeding him the football. Vikings defense is so fast and so powerful. That time on the run play, they just overpower the offensive line, they tackle the runner for a loss. The Bears will take the snap from the 45. Cutler gets it to Matt Forte. That'll pick up the first, and finally, the offense comes through in the clutch on third down. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. Ends up picking up three yards. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. The Vikings' defense now is going to go nickel. Second down and eight. Right back to him once more. The Vikings guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a one play. They were all over, and they got into the backfield and made the tackle. Loss of a couple that time. The Bears will take the snap from the 35. The catch is made by Alshon Jeffrey. Well, that'll make you feel a little better. Finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half. If you're on the offensive side, don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. We head to the fourth quarter, and both of these teams are looking to just stay healthy. And my man, Phil Sims, is looking for a way to escape early to the airport. We've got a blowout. We're back after this. The fourth quarter about to begin, and this game is well in hand. It sure is. It's been a, just a total dominant performance, a blowout, whatever you want to say. And I give the team a lot of credit. They played well. They had a tremendous game plan on the other side. It's only one game. Go back, start all over again, and this time next week, you could be the team that's on top. This will be the offense's 12th play of the drive. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Second down and seven. Matt Forte. And pick up about four. 
He's up over 90 yards so far on the day. The Bears have really been dominant today on the offensive side. In the red zone now, they just take the football and they run it right at the defense and pick up solid yards. cutler has got it in the gun. It's caught by Eddie Royal. Smith's in on the tackle. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. Cutler's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Forte tackled down. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. The long drive continues. Second and goal from the one. Griffin's all over the ball carrier. When you get third and goal, a lot of times... Just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Loss of two on that play. Third and goal from the three. The Bears. Chicago. Touchdown. That is the 25th touchdown catch of his career. Phil, I got to give him credit. They have not given up, even though a lot of teams were thrown in the towel after that horrendous start. Well, in this game, you should never give up for many, many reasons. One, this is... This is what you do for a living. So you want to have pride, but just keep playing like the score is zero to zero. And when it's over, if you lose, just learn from the experience and try to do better next week. The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. And now Patterson. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. When one quarterback plays well and the other doesn't, that can lead to a pretty one-sided affair like we've had today yeah it has been one-sided but look there's always reasons why a quarterback plays well or doesn't Jim it truly is a team game on the offensive side and the good numbers come from the offensive line that played well and the bad numbers come from an offensive line it really struggled here today this is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times. And we saw at that time, and they stopped the play for a short game. They better hurry to get the snap. Here's the handoff to Adrian Peterson. And they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. He's averaging about four yards a carry. They're able to move the chains after that last run. The give. Peterson's marked down at the 41. Peterson's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. It's now second down. Peterson. That's a gain of six. Peterson's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. The play clock's running down. Peterson will get it on the toss. Got the first, and he's got some space. Vikings offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution.